We have a lot of hummingbirds that come to our feeder that's right in front of our kitchen table. Today I'm gonna make a trellis pot. It's super simple. We have some trailing nasturtium that we got at Baker Creek. So I'm hoping that it'll vine up um, this trellis as a source of nectar for these hummingbirds and just to help um, beautify our porch area a little bit. So let's get started. All right, so you only need three things to make this trellis. You need twine, a screw, and a stick. Now, these are, these are five foot wood garden stakes. They were about $3 for a four pack. You could use bamboo or something similar that's lightweight. You don't want it to be uh, too heavy because you don't want your pot to tip over. It's not gonna be very heavy even with the potting soil in it. So you're just gonna screw in the screw a little bit leaving enough that you can tie this twine to. And you're gonna take your twine, this is polished hemp. I just got it at Walmart. You can get twine or I guess yarn would even work. You're gonna double knot it around the screw. There you go and you're gonna measure out how long it needs to be. You're gonna go the whole length of your stick or your stake that you're gonna use, plus a couple of inches. And just cut that off. On the first one that I did, I made seven. So I'm gonna do seven on this one too, and that way it'll really fill out. The less you have, of course, the less full your plant's gonna look. What? You got a big splinter on his foot. All right, let me see. Do we need to get please already? It's not, it's not right there. It's right there. Oh. 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 It's gonna come out super easy. How'd you get a splinter? All right, so I put seven strings on mine, and you can see I just tie. I just double knotted them on the screw. I don't really care what that looks like. It's gonna get covered up anyway, hopefully. So our pot is a 15 inch pot and I'm going to end up using two of these bags. These are 12 quart bags of potting soil. So for this pot, I'll use two bags. Yours might vary, of course, depending on size. Put one bag of soil in already, stuck the stake in and tamp down the dirt to give it kind of a foundation. You might need an extra hand. Um, with this part because it does kind of tricky trying to uh, even it out a little bit So you're gonna take a string And just a couple inches from the top you're gonna drill a hole Make sure that it's even as best as you can get it. You do want to kind of make these taut um, as much as you can so that the stake won't lean when you're done. I'm trying to use the camera as a guide. I can't really see when I'm sitting right here. Okay. There we go. And we're going to go opposite that and do the other one. That'll kind of hold it in better. And you're just gonna do the same all the way around. You wanna try to space them as evenly as you can, um, just for aesthetics. Looks a little better. But again, just try to make it as taut as you can. 
then what you'll end up doing is just cutting the end of the string off. Can I do the next one? Well, it's super hard, but you can try. Like right here. Okay. Yeah. Hey, you did that one better than I did. Boo! Put it on, Boo. Well, I didn't say About to get mushy. No. Mm -hmm. okay. You can edit that out. Alright, so I'm done. I've got the seeds in and watered. I ended up just putting a few more plants in the inner part of these pots um, so that while the nasturtium is not um, sprouting yet, the hummingbirds will have some more options. And then there's a lavender in the middle. I have three lavender plants that I'm waiting to put out, so I just put that one there for fun and to have that wonderful lavender smell when you come out the door. So all in all, a pretty easy, fun project. Um, probably took me 10 minutes each to do this. And I'm looking forward to seeing the flowers vine up and really fill out these um, trellises. So thanks for coming along with us today. I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. And let me know what little projects you have going on around your homestead. See you later.